Good day, everyone. I'm Bob Nestor, your Climate Program Manager here at the National Weather Service in Missoula, Montana. Here to present to you the winter outlook for 2018 and 19 across the Northern Rockies. So I want to hit upon a few talking points points before we get into the details of everything. We all remember what's happened in the last couple of years. We remember what's most recent, and they were pretty uh, harsh winters uh, with some near record snows and some pretty cold days, uh, cold Arctic outbreaks. This year is expected to be less severe than the previous two years. As a result, at or below normal snowpack, and we're expecting above normal temperatures, especially above those valley inversions. And remember, this is a seasonal outlook. November through February is what we're talking. There will be variations on a day-to-day -day basis. So the Climate Prediction Center has forecasted for a weak El Nino to develop this winter. They have pretty good confidence here in the bottom right graph, almost 90%. The bottom left graph shows the forecast for uh, 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 variation of uh, departure from temperatures uh, to persist through the winter months. So what does El Nino do to our general pattern? Well, during an El Nino, you usually in this area, the ocean have more convection than normal. That generally changes the overall weather pattern as you get uh, higher in latitude to more of a ridging type pattern over the course of the entire season. There will be variations, which generally brings warmer and drier conditions to the Pacific Northwest and uh, Alaska. And because the main jet stream where most of our uh, storms uh, ride um, will be further to the south and produce wetter and uh, colder than normal uh, temperatures across the southern tier of the U.S. Here's a global look at uh, relationships from December through February or winter months uh, across the globe. Here again, Pacific Northwest through much of uh, western Canada, warmer than normal temperatures and wetter and cooler um, uh, conditions in the southern tier of the U.S. So we have some pretty high confidence for above normal temperatures this year. Here in the bottom left graph, this is a, a composite for all weak El Ninos from 1951 to present, uh, showing the uh, temperature anomalies. Uh, and you see here in the west, temperature anomalies for uh, all these weak El Ninos as a composite are generally above normal. Precipitation, there isn't as great of a signal um, for all weak El Ninos. It's been pretty much well uh, varied, either above or below or near normal. So not a lot of confidence to what might happen this winter for precipitation. So locally, um, how do weak El Nino patterns typically affect us in western Montana and central Idaho? Well, snowpack is probably the biggest thing, and it's probably our highest confidence that we have that uh, for lower than normal snowpack, here in the top left graph are all the uh, basins across western Montana and they have averaged anywhere from 68 to 82 percent of normal. So pretty low. And compared to last year, that's very low where we averaged over 140 percent of normal. Central Idaho, the same thing across the Salmon and Clearwater Basins, uh, anywhere from 70 to 80 percent of normal. And these are conditions on April 1st, snowpack on April 1st, uh, generally at the end of the winter season. And these are due to above normal temperatures, uh, above valley inversions throughout the course of the winter. So you get those higher snow levels and perhaps not as much snow there. Here's a graph that depicts uh, a little bit better as far as... Um, lower than normal snowpack across the Pacific Northwest and into the uh, Northern Great Basin as well. Uh, pretty good confidence uh, for those below normal conditions. So what's going to happen December through February, this is a look at uh, snowfall and here in the top graph at Missoula, Montana. The average snow for these three months is 25.4 inches. These graphs show that anywhere from 50 to 75 percent of normal is all we received during these weak El Nino years. These two bar graphs on the far right show the last two years we were under a weak La Nina and look we were 150 to 200 percent of normal. So it's quite the difference from year to year is what we're expecting and the same thing Kalispell we've had um, anywhere from 
50 to 75 percent of normal, except this one particular year in 2014-15. And then last two years, once again, about 200 percent of normal. This does not mean we won't see snowfall um, or perhaps a big event here and there, but over the course of the season, we're expecting below normal snows. Same thing in West Glacier here in the top right graph. Um, most years under a weak El Nino have shown uh, anywhere from 50 to 70 percent of normal. In the last two years during weak La Nina, we were 150 percent of normal. And you can see our above normal temperatures that occurred during weak uh, El Ninos. And last year, much colder than normal, about four degrees. Now this chart here shows the lack of confidence in what might happen with precipitation because there is some variability. In, uh, percent of normal precipitation is quite a bit more than what uh, we have for snowfall. So because these temperatures are above normal, that's the reason for the low snowfall. So we can have a wet season, but perhaps just not as much snow. Okay, uh, here's central Idaho once again, lower than normal snows at uh, Salmon Pierce and Orofino. Heck, anywhere from 10% to 75% of normal in Orofino. And again, these two bar graphs on the side show the weak La Ninas of the last two years, 150 to 200% of normal in some areas. And once again, temperatures. Probably, uh, Central Idaho, I meant to mention that this is probably the strongest signal and the most confidence we have for above normal temperatures and below no normal snow. Um, we're almost uh, anywhere from 4 to 6 degrees above normal in some areas for temperatures. So I want to talk a little bit about variability. This is what I was talking about earlier. Okay, day to day or uh, week to week, we can have you know winter events. Here in 2009, during an El Nino season, we had a pretty cold Arctic event in which we were 25 degrees below normal for the average temperature, and we had that uh, twice. But over the course of the entire winter, and look at this on the top of the graph, we had numerous days of well above normal temperatures. And that's what I mean by a seasonal outlook. We can have that variability. So the CPC forecast for the three-month temperature outlook calls for uh, above 50% of normal, or excuse me, above 50% of confidence that we will be above normal for our temperatures across northwest Montana and parts of west central Montana. And a higher confidence for uh, below normal temperature, or excuse me, below normal precipitation. And what these confidence values basically mean is, um, is just that, confidence values that we will be above normal. And this next graph shows a little bit better what they mean by that. So in Missoula, on the bottom left graph, they're expecting a 53% confidence that we'll be above normal, 30% that we'll be near normal. But look at the below normal. There's not much confidence at all that temperatures will be below normal for the entire season. So winter impacts, we will have winter, you know, as I talked about earlier with the variability, we will have winter impacts. We have snow, we will have snow impacts that will affect travel over the mountain passes. Valley snows, you know, even though we'll have less frequent snows, that one or two inch snowfall could be a big impact, especially during commute time. Uh, valley fog, with the more ridging that uh, we have uh, compared to normal, we could have uh, additional dense fog days than normal, especially in December when the sun angle is at its lowest. And the other impact that uh, really can have a, the other weather, winter weather event that can have a big impact is the, uh, these flash freezes. Uh, a lot of times we'll get an inch or two of snow, per, uh, for example, in Missoula um, or anywhere in the valleys. And at nighttime, after a bunch of snow or that stuff can freeze. If it's melted, it'll freeze, creases, creates this flash freeze, which is pretty, uh, pretty impactful or dangerous for travel. And that generally occurs during commute times. So in summary, once again, this is a seasonal forecast, November through February. We have really good confidence uh, that we're gonna have at a below normal snowpack and pretty good confidence that we'll have above normal temperatures, especially above valley inversions and in central Idaho. And finally, uh, compared to last year, where we had some pretty uh, good snows and severe winters, uh, this year does not uh, 
seem it does not look like it, we're going to have as uh, uh, severe as winter, at least the uh, frequency of uh, big winter events as we have previous two years. So, for the latest forecast, uh, current information, anything you want, uh, we we keep things uh, up to date as we can. Um, Visit our webpage at weather.govmissoula and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We really get a lot of messaging out through there, especially during real-time events. Um, and feel free to give us a jingle here at the office. And if you want to know more specific information for your area, uh, we're here and we can give that to you. I hope everyone has a good day.